as we are born in the cloud serverless is at our core welcome to simply serverless hi i am atul kumar working as serverless advocate at anstack today we are going to create a simple full stack view application using aws amplifier first objective is deploy and host a react app second initialize a local app third add the authentication fourth add a graphql api and databases and fifth add the ability to store the images in the post part host the react app we are going to create a react application initialize a github repository deploy your application with the aws amplifier then implement the code changes and redeploy the application again let's start go to amplify app folder to npm start our demo app is loaded let's deploy this using amplify before that we have to create a github repo copy the link we have to set our github repository let's execute these commands we are going to push our data on our master branch in the aws amplifier let's link our github repo select the master branch what the deployment is completed we will be able to see our application deployed over the cloud we will refresh this you can see our application is deployed using as deployed let's make some changes in the code and uh, it will be automatically deployed over our cloud copy this in the source folder app.js we are going to replace this save it once the redeployment is complete for our new changes we will see hello from v2 let's refresh it Here you can see our new version Hello from V2 is uh, redeployed on the cloud. So with Amplify, you can uh, continuously deploy your application in the cloud and host it globally using CDI. Let's move to part two. Initialize the local application. Here we are going to install the Amplify CLI. I have already installed the Amplify CLI, so I'm going to skip this step. Next, you can configure your Amplify. It will open the console. Go back to the CLI. Press enter. select your region our region is mumbai ap south 
यूजर नेम copy your access key and secret key later i am going to delete this user our default profile for the user amplify user ss is set now we are going to initialize the amplify app so go to the amplify console click on local setup instructions here copy this our environment name is staging we have to keep these settings now execute amplify console so that it will open the our project in amplifier now we have initialized our amplifier application in the next feature we are going to add the authentication in the third module we are going to add the authentication service for that we are going to install the amplify libraries then we are going to create and uh, deploy the authentication service then configure our react application to include the authentication service so let's start with installing the amplify libraries to save the time i have already installed the aws amplify library and also created the add authentication service next is we are going to deploy our authentication service do amplify push now we are going to configure our react project with the amplify resources add this code snippet to our index.js in the source folder here save it add this snippet replace the app.js with this snippet run the app locally so we are able to get login the gui move on to next step now we will add the ci cd Let's open the Amplify console. We will get this. Then go to App Setting. In that, we have to choose Build Setting. We have to add this backend line 2 to line 7 in our code. Click on Edit here. Let's verify version one backend up to front end line two to seven service. Now we have to 
link up the front end to the back end under the branch name click on edit select the environment we know that our environment name is staging save this so we have linked our uh, back end to staging let's deploy the changes to the live environment Let's check if our application with authentication is deployed. Here, yeah. it's done. In this fourth module, add API and database, we are going to create and deploy a GraphQL API. Then we are going to write a front end code to interact with that API. To create a GraphQL API, go to your root directory and execute this command. Click on yes for the edit. Now we are going to open our schema and we are going to update our schema here. Save it. Let's deploy this API. To view our GraphQL API, execute this command. GraphQL. Now we are going to update our app.js with this code. Save this. Now we are going to execute our app. working in the fifth part we are going to add the storage here we are going to create a storage service then we are going to update our uh, graphql schema after that we are going to update our react application Then we are going to update our GraphQL schema. Deploy. We are done with the backend updation. Now let's update the React application. We have to update at six places as you mentioned here. First, go to source folder app.js append this save it in the main function add this asynchronous function on change then update the fetch node functions Update the create node function. Add this line. Then update this nodes.map. Execute this locally. Okay.
has been deployed. You can see now we are able to add the image. You can see we are able to add our image along with the node. 